Hey, everybody. Uh, we got back about a week and a half ago from a short but really lovely little uh, kind of bonus fall trip to Utah. And I wanted to do a quick video. So we were, uh, uh, Jeff and I were both in Colorado Springs. I was helping him on his, on his new house. And we drove up to Denver to pick up, Denver Airport to pick up Harry. We usually get Harry in Grand Junction or he drives himself. But the way the flights worked out, we did it in, Grand, in, uh, in, in DIA. And we had a nice drive, beautiful weather through the lovely Rockies into Moab. We actually did the, uh, the Cisco route um, as we usually do. Really great weather, nice day. And our target was the White Rim. And the White Rim is largely in Canyonlands National Park, and it's just one of the most beautiful drives in the world. And we've done it a number of times before, and it's just so good we keep coming back and doing it. So for context, uh, up in the upper right, this is Moab, and this is the Colorado River. You can see the Colorado River kind of uh, winds its way uh, roughly south and west. And then on the upper left is the Green River, which uh, roughly winds, winds its way south and east. And they meet just below the screen here at what's called the Confluence. And, um, and then right below that is Cataract Canyon, which are the kind of the famous big rapids, uh, really good rapids, especially when the, the river's running big. And so the way that um, uh, the White Rim runs is, it's a, I'll show you a little bit more detail, but it's a particular kind of middle between the, the Colorado and Green Rivers and then the island in the sky. This is Canyon Lines National Park. And you start out the Shaper Trail going down and then you do this rim all the way around and down. Uh, if you walk out, you can actually see the confluence and then you go... Um, around back up along the Green River and then come back. And we had just a just a wonderful trip. And to give you a little more view, this, this is that same view except for um, with, a, with a satellite image. And again, Moab is in the upper right. Uh, the Potash Ponds, which are really easy to see the evaporation ponds. Dead Horse Point, probably the best, um, best view in, in the world, I think. Um, this here, this is um, Upheaval Dome, and then you can drive all the way out to Grandview Overlook up high, or you can do the White Rim, uh, which is kind of in the middle, or you can raft it um, along the sides, which we've done all three. Just really beautiful. We started our trip in Moab. Um, the first night in Moab, we went to the lovely Desert Bistro. You know, this is a Michelin star restaurant uh, in any big city in the world, and you know, sitting right in the middle of Moab, there's something like nine tables, and uh, you have to, uh, you have to get a a reservation long in advance. I think I made reservations two weeks in advance and we, we got one for like 8.30, but uh, uh, excellent as always. Really a great, great restaurant. And we stopped in the Arches Bookstore. I tried to buy Harry Shantaram, but he said he was going to buy it on his own. So Harry, don't forget. I uh, always buy something in this bookstore just to keep it in business. Really, really great Utah bookstore. The next day we decided we had some time, and so we, we decided to go and hike up to Delicate Arch in Arches National Park. And this is a stock photo in the winter of Arches. It was not snowing when we were there, but my gosh, is this just a pretty part of the world. We um, parked in the parking lot, which you can sort of see in the back there. And then we walked up um, a relatively short, a couple miles each way trail, but pretty steep up to the um, up, up to the arch viewing point. And you can see we actually come around the arch and this is like a highway, right? This is, I don't know if they cut it out or what, but it's, um, you could definitely ride a mountain bike on this thing and come around the, come around the back of the arch. And there's a little, little arch. Jeff climbed up there for a picture. And then you get to see the actual delicate arch itself. And my gosh, is it, it beautiful. There, there were a number of people there, especially for November. I thought the place would be dead, but we, we had a little bit of trouble getting, um, we had trouble getting reservations in the Island in the sky. We had trouble getting reservations at uh, desert bistro and there are a fair amount of people here. So weather was good though. Weather was low seventies, really nice. Um, the picture of myself and Jeff at the arch and then myself and Harry uh, we all made the trek just great, and then J Jeff walked to the to the bottom of the arch for a picture, and it was so funny. Right, right before him, this lady she wanted to have her picture right here, but she was definitely scared of heights. And you know, it doesn't look it there, but that's actually pretty kind of kind of tippy. And so she went over to the left side here, and she was holding on to it, and then she finally like crawled down and like got down on her on her bum, and she like kind of inchwormed her way down there, and then she stood up, and you know, she was kind of shaking and scary, and she finally just raised her hands and took a picture, and then she. she jumped back to the ground and crawled, crawled her way back, but she made it. And I was super happy for her. Um, beautiful place. Uh, and then we, here we are uh, enjoying a view of the arch, um, which is behind us from the picture. Uh, just a great, great little day hike. It's been a couple of years since we've done it. Did not disappoint. Uh, this is my, uh, this is my um, uh, uh, 
AI version of the arch. I just had it uh, dial me up a version of the arch, and I thought, man, that's a pretty good effort. This artificial intelligence stuff is is going to be something. We um we we got back and we actually had lunch at one of the viewpoints up in Arches and headed into the Canyonlands National Park and the White Rim. So just to give you a little bit of a of an overview, so this I sh- kind of showed you this before. So in the middle, this is called Island in the Sky, and this is the you know the main part of the national park. You can drive all the way out to here. It's called Grand View Point. Uh, also, this is to the right here. This is called um, Dead Horse Point. I think this is one of the most beautiful views in the world. This is Upheaval Dome, which is this weird salt dome kind of thing. And the White Rim, it goes down to this terrifying, I'll show you in a second, it goes down this terrifying Schaefer descent, and then it follows the White Rim formation, which is part of the Cutler um, formation, all the way along. And, you know, it's pretty far, it's really far above the river, but far below the island, and it is just beautiful. It's about 110 miles. Uh, we camped here at airport. We went down Gooseberry. This, these canes, I'll show you some pictures. These canes are just jaw-droppingly beautiful. White Crack is kind of the end. And if you kind of go, you know, kind of down and left from the photo here, that's where the confluence is in Cataract Canyon. And then you go up the, probably the hardest part is this Murphy Hogback. And we actually ate lunch the second day at the top of the Hogback. And then you go down and back up again to the probably the more scary parts of the drive. And then you make yourself... Uh, back up to the island in Hard Scrabble, and then we actually camped along here, and I'll show you some interesting things that we camped nearby. So really, really, a, you know, not, a, not a long trip, but one of the most beautiful things we've ever done, and every time we do it, it's just it just does not disappoint. Uh, so to get to the White Rim, first you have to get there, right? So this is up on the island in the sky, and you have to go down this road. And, you know, it's a good road, but look at it, right? Like, if you're not paying attention, it is just nothing but vertical descent, right? It is a scary, scary kind of thing. And Harry decided uh, he wanted to drive it. He took my, my Range Rover, and here's a quick video. Um, actually, at the top here, just to show you, this is the White Rim before the video. This is the White Rim, and this is the White Rim Foundation. You can see this is the White Rim Road. It generally follows the White Rim with these beautiful canyons right underneath it where you have these kind of the White Rim's hard, right? So it doesn't, it doesn't weather very much. So what happens is that bits of the White Rim stay, and then underneath it, it erodes, and you get these just incredible canyons that there's just nothing like them. So here's Harry going down. So you see, I'm telling him on the video, like, do not, do not look at the camera. Just, you know, just watch the road. And, you know, the pictures never, never do it justice. But, you know, look at that. We just came down that. You can't even see the road from that picture. And here we go. And here's one of the, the many super tight turns that go down. The National Park Service has made this a terrific road. But I'll tell you, do not make a mistake because, you know, any, any miscalculation is just terrible. And you know, right about here a couple of years ago, we ran into, of all things, a Volkswagen Beetle. And it had been raining a little bit, and you know, there's this clay in the soil here, and when it rains, it just gets slip, slicker than snot. And that beetle was not going anywhere. And I, you know, I was every time we go down there, I expect to still see it. It was, it was so stuck. But uh, you know, we made our way down the the good but very scary Schaefer Trail, and then we get to the White Rim. So again, you can see this White Rim Foundation here. Uh, this whole area, this is up a little bit. It's called the Cutler Group, and this is Musselman Arch, and it's a little bit hard to see. Um, but this is the arch right here, and you can see there's daylight underneath there. And, and that's a couple of hundred feet, right? So you walk on, on there, and then you look down, and it's a couple hundred feet. Now, you're not supposed to walk on it anymore. For years, we would go out there, and we'd take our pictures, and we'd walk across and all that. And, yeah, I know it has degraded quite a bit, and, you know, we did not go out on it this time just because there were some signs that said don't do it and, you know, protect the resource. But it is a beautiful thing. And, you know, what you do is you just follow this white rim all the way around over to the left of the screen. And here's the view. Again, here's the white rim you're looking at. And this is um, just a beautiful, you can see the Colorado River down there. And just these acres and acres and, and vertical worlds. I think this is Dead Horse Point up at the top, right? So you can actually drive out there. Very beautiful view. And a similar view here that's a kind of a panoramic. So, you know, this is this edge. There's Jeff uh, looking over the edge. And Dead Horse Point out there. And then the Colorado River uh, below. My gosh, Henry Mountains out in the back. Or excuse me, the Manti LaSalle Mountains out in the back. Really beautiful. Uh, Harry was driving, so Harry uh, Harry had a good time. We did a little bit of, of kind of real off-roading in the Range Rover right in this area. And you can see kind of behind us, there's that white rim. We'll actually go around to the left of the screen and then all the way, or to the right of the screen and then all the way over to the left on our journey that day. And Jeff decided he needed to do some push-ups, so, um, so he was off uh, 
off working out and you can see the uh, just the beautiful views. This is one of those canyons that come off the White Rim. And, you know, again, the White Rim Foundation is hard. And so you get these great uh, these great monoliths all through this whole 100 mile uh, drive. Now the view again, you're right on the edge and you got these, these monoliths and they just happen. I mean, there's hundreds or maybe thousands of these, of these towers that are just hanging in there and, you know, over time they'll, they'll wear down. But you know, this snapshot while we're alive is, is just a thing, a thing to see. Here we are. So we camped at airport the uh, first night. Airport's a little bit early in the trip. Uh, you know, there are only you know, like 10 campgrounds that they, you're allowed to stay at and they are hard to get, right? So you kind of, kind of get what you get. Uh, but we had a great night and uh, Jeff, Jeff cooked the whole time, made, uh, made great, great food for us. Had a good, had a good time, got done early the first night. And then we're off again and you can see here are some more of these just jaw dropping canyons with these, you know, these, I don't know, three, four, 500 foot high monoliths uh, all over the place. Um, this is kind of, uh, this is about two thirds of the way. So this is up at the top of Murray Ridge back, which is, I think the crux of the thing. And we're having, uh, we're having some lunch. Nice view. This is south. So this is looking out and it's hard to tell from the picture, but that's the dollhouse on the right and the needles on the left. So the confluence is right in between those. And then here we are coming down off the Murphy Ridge back. And, you know, it doesn't look that bad in the picture, but my goodness, is this is this scary. And you can see, you know, we get back down to the White Rim. The White Rim's kind of mid thing in the distance. And then there's these more of these canyons with these hundreds of feet high monoliths in the background. Um, another view going down. It is, it is scary doing this. Um, kind of a kind of a 360 look, I think, from, from Jeff. And you can just see we've got just these beautiful world worlds of canyons and you know the thing about the white rim it's a pretty long drive and even if you do it in two days um it you just don't get to spend a lot of time there right because you can't you can't really camp a lot because it's you know, it's national park and you have to get a um reservation so it's like i always just feel like there's all this beauty here and you're just sort of only seeing it for a few seconds um coming out this is the uh, this is hard scrabble so this is kind of I, I would say the scary part of the drive murphy is probably the hardest way up but this is the scariest part and so again, more canyons, just beautiful, and more canyons, more canes, and that's how it works, right? You hit this. This is the white. This is the white rim foundation or formation here, and they're just kind of going along flat, and then all of a sudden, boom! It's a you know 500 feet down and 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 uh, vertical with all these towers. You can see now we're down a little bit. This is the Green River. Um, another view. So again, from the white rim foundation, you can see the Green River is pretty close to the, pretty close to the. Um, the level of the rim right now, really pretty. We didn't see any rafts. It was kind of late in the season for, for rafting, uh, but really pretty. The weather was great. And just to give you an example of how, how scary this is. So this is the rover going up and, and this is just steep, right? It's, you know, it's a good road. There's a national park road, but man, it is just terrifying. And you can see Harry's waving out the window. Like he's glad he's not driving, but um, you know, it's, um, it's, it's real, right? I wouldn't, I wouldn't take a, I wouldn't take a, and you know, Audi Quattro up this thing. You do need some kind of four wheel drive. Another view, really just a beautiful, beautiful and scary kind of, kind of motion. Uh, here's another view, Jeff's in front here. And, you know, this is one of the little harder bits. Uh, this is hard scrabble going up. What you do is you go up and there are some really, really kind of just tippy points and you go back down and, uh, you know, you hope your brakes are, your brakes are in good condition because, you know, if you get any kind of speed, you're in trouble. Uh, back down hard, hard scrabble, you can see the Green River again. And then that big uh, canyon off to the right is where we exit and go back up to that, to the to the island, which is the, the high point. Um, beautiful view of the Green River here. Really, really nice. Another great view coming down. A couple of good campsites. This is called Potato Bottom here on the right side. And you can see, again, you have these, you know, this, this is a higher formation, but you have these, um, these, these towers that just, that just stay there. And there's, you know, there's hundreds and hundreds of them. A lot of them have been climbed, a lot of them haven't, right? It's just a real wilderness. Uh, this is on our way out, right? So we're actually going to climb up this, um, this, uh, uh, this cliff. And it doesn't look like there's a road there, even when you're driving on it, right? Even when you're, and the road's decent, it's good. Um, but <laughs> it, it is scary, right? A lot of vertical up and down in this trip. Here we are here. We're coming up the, coming up to the, up to the island, Green River in the background, really pretty, almost getting, getting to be a little, little, a little, uh, sunset. Uh, and here we are leaving the park. And so there's the three of us. So this is the, this is our exiting, the exiting Canyonlands National Park, 
on the um, west side of the island in the sky. We had a great time and nothing nothing went wrong. It was all good. Um, and then we then we went up to to the top and we were looking for. There's a couple of great campsites on kind of a side canyon. They're really beautiful and we we settled on one here and it was a little bit late coming in and it was called a fruit bowl and I didn't know what that was and I ended up looking it up and it's really interesting. So right where we about 2000 feet from where we camped and we didn't go see it, there is this thing called the fruit bowl. So we actually camped to show you, we camped right here, the mouse is, and there's this thing called the fruit bowl highline area. And here's a zoom in of it. And you can see there are these weird nets. And if I go down a little bit more, this is actually during Thanksgiving weekend, which is this coming upcoming weekend, a whole bunch of people go and they set up the world's longest high lines. You can see them here. And then they have this big net and the net has a hole in the middle and people actually like jump with a parachute, right? They actually jump through there and they parachute out. It's just this, this weird thing. It's called GGBY, which I'll leave you to look up the, the somewhat, uh, in poor taste name of it. But you know, it's a bunch of guys, they were doing it for like 10 years all by themselves and, there were so many people wanted to do it. Now it's a thing, right? And they have, you can, you know, pay admission and take classes and all that. But it's just really interesting. Right by where we camped, totally a surprise. Uh, we had a great um, look. So there's, you know, there's the, there's the, um, there's the net. And people literally, they put on a, they put on a parachute and they jump through the the center and, uh, and, you know, free fall for five or six seconds and then, uh, and then come out. It's just, just crazy. So next time we're near there, we're going to go see it. Um Beautiful sunset. Look at that sunset. There's me and there's Jeff. Like it just couldn't couldn't have been better. Fruit Bowl is actually right behind us and we didn't know it. Um, looked it up after. So there we are eating dinner. Jeff Jeff cooked. It was good food and um, Korean barbecue that night. We had a great trip. Thanks uh, Jeff and Harry for doing the doing the trip. I had a great time and I'll see you next spring.